A high share, high Pedro. Election day is tomorrow, but vote centers like this are already open, receiving ballots. Uh, big elections are at stake here. Voters are weighing in on governor, attorney general, LA County Sheriff. Of course, that big race for LA mayor you just spoke about. But so far, analysts call early voter turnout dismal. No lines or crowds at this Koreatown vote center, and data show early voting turnout so far statewide in the primary election has been low. I feel like there hasn't been as much like noise around this one. These new parents say despite missing any pre-election buzz, they do still plan to vote. We had a child a couple weeks ago, yes. and so voting was not top of mind, but we passed by a voting booth, and the woman there was like, are you voting? We will be voting either today <laughs> or tomorrow. We needed a reminder. Yeah. As of Sunday night, around 13% of the state's registered voters had cast their ballots. That's down from roughly 34% around the same time in last year's gubernatorial recall and 18% at the same point before the 2018 midterms. It's really disappointing and not entirely surprising. There isn't that big blockbuster race that is getting people to the polls. <laughs> Locally, there is a high-profile race for mayor of L.A., where tracking firm Ad Impact reports close to $33 million has been spent on advertising. I'm running for mayor. Now I'm running for mayor. Still, fewer than 214,000 Angelinos had voted as of Sunday, about 10% of those registered. Anyone sitting it out waiting for the general election could miss the chance to vote for mayor at all. I don't know that a lot of people are keying into the fact that if one person gets more than 50% of the people who should show up to vote, then that's our next mayor. There will not be a runoff. This LA resident has already voted. Uh, yes, I did the drop off ballot. And was a little perplexed by the low turnout given how easy California makes voting. It's, it's so easy, right, with the boxes and mail. This woman still plans to vote, but understands the apathy among those who don't, attributing it to burnout. I think everybody's really just kind of depressed at the state of the world and maybe feeling a little bit helpless. And I think sometimes voting just doesn't feel like you're really doing all that much. But we all know voting is important, so make sure you get out there and express your, you know, your right to vote. But what options do people have if they do want to vote and what are the deadlines? Yeah, but that's an important point. Analysts say this is a really important primary to vote in. There is a lot at stake as far as how to do so. Well, every California active registered voter should have received a vote by mail ballot. The postage is prepaid, just has to be postmarked by tomorrow. You can also drop it off in any ballot drop box or at a vote center like this or a polling location. Now, if you want to vote in person in LA County, you can go to any of the hundreds of vote centers. Polls are open tomorrow, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Next hour, the issues that voters tell me are are most important to them right now in this election, in these races. I'll tell you, coming up at 6. Now, that's the latest live in Koreatown. I'll send it back to you. All right, Lauren, thank you so much for that.